Many of the food store shelves are empty, and that might just be the new normal. Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and thank you for joining me today on this video. And the biggest topic that's going around right now, besides a lot of other things, is food shortages. And I think this topic is going around more on the social media sites more than the media sites. You see, the media sites are all worried about all the, um, well, I guess you could say the political BS and all that kind of stuff that's taking place in Washington, um, uh, Russia, Ukraine, um, North Korea, um, all those different types of things. You're not really hearing too much about what's been going on with the ports. In the same token, you're also not hearing too much about what is going on in the food stores. Now, if you get on your social media sites and everything, you are hearing a lot about it, depending on what kind of uh, social media sites you're on and what uh, channels you may be watching or what you are subscribed to and in your news feed. The news is out there. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. There's a lot of stores that have empty shelves. There's a lot of stores that can't keep any stock on the shelves. Even if you do go in there, like I suggest, first thing in the morning, there's still not anything on the shelves. So the products aren't getting made, if you get what I'm saying. They're just not getting them, period. Now, I have seen reports. I haven't witnessed it yet, but I have seen reports on my channel that people are saying that some of the canned goods and stuff they noticed are very close to being outdated. So it's like something that they had in a, um, let's say they had them in the back storeroom and they were probably going to look to donate them to maybe a food bank so they could get used up before their quote best buy date. And now they've decided that they're going to just put them back on the shelves because they have nothing on the shelves anyways and they want to make it look full so they make people want to shop there so maybe you should be checking any canned goods and stuff that you are buying because it seems that this has taken place in more than one state i don't know folks this is just something that we're dealing with here there's a lot of stuff that is going on. There's a lot of problems with all the truckers and the truckers are revolting against the governments between the United States, Canada, and Mexico. So that this affects the whole Northern America. We still have the issues in the ports. We don't hear much about that in the major media news. And they're still having issues on moving stuff from point A to point B. One thing that's really hurting us on that aspect is the weather this year. It has been bitterly cold, blizzards, massive ice storms, snowstorms, and everything else, and it's slowing the progress of moving stuff across the country, whether it be from the west coast to the east coast or the east coast to the west coast. Because you see, once they bring it over here and then they take it from the train and put it on a truck. Now the truck takes and delivers it to whatever its port of origin was. Once it is unloaded, they bring the empty container back. It has to go back on a train to go back over to the west coast to be loaded back on a cargo ship to go back to where it came from. It's a huge, huge, big cycle that we have to go through to get our goods. And the problem being is there's still ships that are setting out there off of uh, the port of Los Angeles and all down through there. They're waiting to be unloaded. Some of them have been sitting out there for 30 to 45 days. Things have gotten better as far as there's not as many ships Here's my question on that one and comment below to what you think. There's not that many ships 
like there was when this was all being reported on in the news. So one of two things, either one, they are slowly catching up, or two, which I tend to believe more, now this is just my opinion, they have slowed the ships that are coming into the ports. So is these ships with all these goods being held way out at sea or have they not even left their home ports yet they're loaded and just sitting there hoping that okay if they wait long enough and then they go when they get here hopefully they will be able to somewhat pull into port to be unloaded instead of being setting out in the water for 30 to 45 days now who knows what is correct because we don't know if the ships even if they did report from china or japan or taiwan or wherever they're coming from indonesia or wherever maybe they are being told to hold the ships because they don't want to have them all setting off the coast of california and have us thinking that there's an issue this way here, it kind of makes it look like, well, they're cleaning up their mess, right? And I really don't think that that has been taking place. Well, I, I have been talking. There's been a lot of pictures that have rolled through the background. And that is this week's shortages. Once again, I am doing one of these videos every week just to show you all what is still taking place. I am pulling all this information and these pictures off of social media. Um... Facebook, Twitter, those type of things. I'm not pulling it off any of the major media networks. Matter of fact, if you do go on and you look, well, you just can't find a lot of information on really the food shortages. Everything is on all the other BS that's going on in this country, in this world. But when it boils down to it, we all need food to survive. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I would like to thank everybody for joining me on this Sunday video once again. You know, I really wish that things would straighten up. I wish things would um, go back to normal. But for some reason, I have a funny feeling that these shortages that we're seeing on our shelves on a weekly basis, every time you step into the grocery store, is going to be the new normal we're going to have to get used to living with it we're going to have to get used to well if we see it and we haven't seen it in a long time buy it and put it up for a rainy day the only problem is is with the inflation rate a lot of things are a heck of a lot more expensive than they were just even a year ago you all stay safe you all keep prepping until next time I'll catch you all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.